Aaron Perry, no relationship to me, uh, but maybe I wish he was because he is known for his Amazon bestseller, Why on Earth? Get Smarter, Feel Better, Heal the Planet. And he has a new book coming out. It's an epic thriller, echo, epic eco thriller, Aaron, that's coming out that's kind of cool. Let's say the name of this book for me, the new one. Yeah, that's right, Brad. It's called Viriditas. Viriditas, Viriditas. And, and there's a special meaning behind this, isn't it? Yeah, Viriditas is a very special word. It means the green healing energy of God that flows through plants. And it was coined by the German mystic Hildegard von Bingen back in the Middle Ages. Huh, wow, uh, I mean, you're learning a lot here. And you're gonna learn a lot in this book because this is a very interesting story. I've been getting a little bit of tidbits from it from uh, reading, um, and I didn't get the full thing because it's uh, definitely one you wanna pick up. So let's give people just a little bit, but I understand it's about a young lady who is uh, sent on a journey kind of? Yeah, that's right. So our, our heroine, uh, Brigitte Sophia, is this super smart computer scientist and entrepreneur and she has cracked the code to deep artificial intelligence. So after a quick spin through space, we kick off in New York City, where she just had a meeting with very secretive financiers and she's walking through Central Park and is suddenly being chased by very scary, sinister paramilitary men, clearly bent on getting this knowledge and technology from her. So she has to flee in the nick of time, gets on the subway and flies to Colorado. And that's where the plot really starts to thicken as uh, she meets up with a friend of a friend, a guy she doesn't like at all at first, and has to ditch her tech and go off grid, making her super uncomfortable, and starts going out and visiting these different biodynamic and permaculture farms and spends more and more time in the wilderness, which is basically causing her to have this very beautiful personal transformation over the course of the story. All of that is the setup for the big crescendo that I, I don't want to say too much about. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to go away. So can, let me ask you, I mean, this story sounds like it actually can be real. Is, that a, a, is this a real story that you've kind of like taken from different, uh, different people or different things? Yeah, it, it really is in a way. So the subtitle is The Great Healing is Within Our Power. And, and the book, although it's a piece of eco-thriller fiction. It's also a documentary of sorts featuring very real p people and places. And some of my friends who have read it said, oh, this is kind of like science fiction. And we joke, it's more like science reality. Uh, there's a lot of science in it. There's a lot of mystery and esoterica, some history, but very readable at the same time. And, and folks, I think will uh, learn a lot while also being entertained by the story. Yeah, and I think that's what's great about your books is that you are giving people a, a little lesson as they go through the journeys in, in all your books, which is very important. Well, yes, and, and a big part of our focus here, and I, I help run the Why on Earth community as executive director and educational and action-oriented nonprofit, where we're connecting the dots between personal family community strategies for enhanced health and well-being on the one hand and global strategies for regeneration stewardship and sustainability on the other hand and it turns out there's a whole lot we can do in this regard and that's a big part of the come from it's a very hopeful approach to some very complex and challenging issues frankly that we're facing right now across the entire planet. Yeah, and it's very interesting with her journey, you're, you're starting to hear more stories of people who have been live, leaving the big city, not because of that reason, and moving to a rural area to be closer with nature, to learn how they can actually um, better themselves and better the world. Yeah, I, I happen to live and work on a, a small regenerative farm outside of Boulder, Colorado, where we host different events, and it's not unusual have some encounter friends and, and colleagues who are, have kind of left big city life for something a little different. And, and really that deeper connection to nature is something that is, is probably being sought now by more and more of us. And I'm convinced a connection with nature, whether we're in the cities going to the parks, whether we're in the suburbs and permaculturing our yards, or we're in a more rural setting, that connection to nature might just be one of the keys to really enhancing our own happiness and well-being while also helping address some of these larger systemic
economic challenges we're facing as a society. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, um, the book uh, is definitely going to bring light into uh, what you're trying to achieve there and also give people a nice little thrill uh, as they journey through this uh, path with her uh, in the story. Aaron, tell us where we could find the book. You bet. You can go to veriditasbook.com, V-I-R-I-D-I-T-A-S book.com. Uh, it's available on Amazon and other booksellers as well. And for those of you who like puzzles, there's some cipher codes throughout the book relaying uh, hidden messages, uh, sacred scripture, uh, other references to luminaries. So there's a bit of a puzzling and uh, deciphering there for folks who like that kind of thing. All right, cool. I can't wait to check it out. Aaron, we appreciate you joining us. And again, it's Aaron Perry, no relation, but still a great name. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Appreciate it.